this is 40 degrees it's just 85 ah sanel sanel usa se pizgulo yonto He's got this friend of his, Oshala, in England. Okay. And this friend of his is going to backpack through Cape Town. Yeah. But he needs help. Coco, what is to backpack? Backpack. It's to travel light without using extra money, a lot of money. Yeah, you just pack a few clothes into your bag. What's on my hair? Yeah, but. Oh, okay, Mar. What is the name of the friend? What is the name of Thunder, he wants me to create a, a travel plan. So it's basically a map that shows all the nice places and all the things that he can do within those places. Mm -hmm. This friend of his wants him to create this travel plan for him and highlight all the interesting places. Oh, this is interesting. But Kaapstad is a very nice place. Yeah, like you could go to Robin Island or the Table Mountain. Ooh, Camps Bay. I just love laying there on the sandy beaches oh, yeah. and watch the sunset. Guys, I hear you, but the problem is that those are in different locations with different directions. That's the problem. Lalilani, guys, the pr that's not the problem. The problem is when you have a map, you can see a place on a map. But how do you use this map to help you to get to all these different places? Okay, Why didn't you just use this? Because here's Robin Island. Yeah. Uh, here's Table Mountain. And he's just comes by his Exactly. I've already used that and I'm still confused. So Okay. Sanel, I need to know you are used to going to Cyber Center. Yes. So can you explain to Coco how to get there? Well, I can try. I usually go with Ubabam. So we start by taking it takes and then my sessions so that's a how train mm -hmm. and then um what do we do? Oh, business and then we're gonna take another taxi and then yeah, we have the Cyber Center. Okay, okay, guys, were you listening? Yeah. Yes, cool. So, more or less, Sanele has got an idea of how to get to the Cyborg Center, okay. but he can't explain to me exactly yeah. how to get there. Oh. He's got an idea, but to explain. Okay, yeah. now I see. You know what we have to do, guys? We have to just learn how to use maps, corners, and also a compass. So, you use a map anywhere you go. Yeah. Thing is, I know most of these places. God, the problem here is just that I don't know if I can help him when I'm not there. Okay. To so get to that destination that he wants to, that's the problem. Yeah, okay. but my opa is born and interested in karte, and as he let me help in karte, can so Sanel help, and then can I go for my opa? Why so good can I karte? And then can I come and help with his karte and all his things? You know, guys. I have this little guy who knows how to read compasses and maps. Yes, in Coco Ompete, that's my speciality. Asam, Asam. They have it. Wonder Room. It's not mine. Go to the Wonder Room. Oh, cool. We start with cardinal directions. Okay, I know what our directions, but then what are cardinal directions? Well, cardinal directions are the four main directions that we use around the world. Can I demonstrate, Zander? Please stand up. Okay. Open your arms like an airplane. Okay. 
Which way? Like that, that, uh, just uh, open your arms anyway. Okay. Where are you standing? I'm standing on this floor. You see, it's random, so you don't know actually where you're standing. But when I say, put your right hand facing east. So this way. Now how is he standing? He's sideways, I think. Okay. No, now he's standing facing east, west, his hands. north. His, his hands are facing east and west. Yes. So east where the sun rises, west, west where the, the sun, sun sets. Yeah. So that's how he found so out his direction. East. But now, Spiro, what if I'm in a different location like in Natal? How would I know where's north, south, east, <laughs> and west? Ha! <laughs> the sun will always rise in the east and set in the west. Even if you can go to Jamaica. La ilanga li shalali. Where the sun is always shining. Okay. And you go to Switzerland, you ride the mountains where it's dark. The sun will always rise from the east and set in the west. All you have to do is just ask. Oh. Go to which side does the sun rise? Oh, Coco, you can also have this. And what is that? Oh, yes, and King I won in one of Coco's big. Oh, maps. this is called a compass. A it's compass. Yeah. Yes, can I tell you, explain how it works? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, please. So basically a compass has a magnetic needle that always points north. Can you see? So now you always know where north is. Oh, so is the white one. one north or the red one? I'm confused. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now you go. Hey, and it's moving, eh guys? Yeah, it does move. That means it's searching, but then it's gonna go, go. And it stays go, north go, even if you spin go. it around. And it's gonna stop. That means it's its magnetic north. But which one is the is it the red one? The red one. Oh. Oh, okay. the red and the white one? It's That's south. South? Like, yeah. Oh, south, so south north, yeah. North. Okay. Okay. Then it means it has got a magnet inside. Yes. And this magnet is attracted to the Earth's magnetic poles, right? Yes. Coco. So it means because the Earth magnetic north poles are always attracted to the north ends of other magnets. Yes. Which is technically the south pole. Exactly, Coco. Okay. okay. So it means it never changes. It will always be attracted to the opposite, uh, yes. which is the South Pole, but to us, we'll always, to us it's always the South Pole, but there it's always it's North. North, exactly, Coco. Yeah, it was so confusing for me, but now I see it properly now, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense, no? Mm. <laughs> okay. So, because it means uh, like charges repel and unlike charges? charges. Opposites attract. Opposites yes. attract. South, oh, north. Because yeah. south and north, yeah, but, and then north and yeah. south. So, there is south, but it's also geographically it's South Pole. But it's not. Can oh. you see that? Okay, I get says it. it. Yeah. I get it. Okay. So now we can go north side, west and west. Yeah. So now let me show you how we're going to locate them on the map. Mm. So when you look over here, yes. on the map, can you see the bottom right hand side corner? Yeah. Every map maker must have the cardinal signs oh, on it. So okay. you know where north, east, west, east and south. south is. Yeah, that's that little red sign there at the bottom, right? Yes. Oh, okay, I usually okay. see it in Coco's big maps, everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I've, yes. But where's the cardinal directions on the globe? No, you don't have it on a globe because it's not two-dimensional. Okay, now yes. I get you. Okay. So, Manja, I want you guys to try and identify the cardinal points. La, Gula, Okay. Okay. You okay. can see on the, the first one, where is it? Bottom left. Bottom left. left. Yes. yes. There it is. Uh -huh. The next one. Where's the button? There at the yeah. top right. At the top right. But it's only saying north. It's north it's because now I'm sure you place. should know that if it's north, then obviously automatically it's, it's south. south. East is automatically on your right. Okay. And west is automatically on your left. Okay. Let's chat about maps and globes. A map and a globe are very much different. A map will give you a presentation of a certain region in the world, whereas a globe gives you a presentation of the whole world. A map is easy to use and it is an item that you can carry easily, whereas a globe is not. You can also easily identify regions and places on a map than a globe. 
So if you are looking for more details in order to reach your destination, then a map could be the best option. A map can include the boundaries, rail routes, climatic conditions, latitudes, longitudes, and a lot more, whereas a globe doesn't have all these intricate details and it also doesn't have many variations. Maps come with various symbols and signs related to the geographical and physical features. A globe, on the other hand, is round in shape and shows you accurate areas, distances, as well as relative shapes and sizes. So when talking about accuracy, a globe is more accurate than a map because maps have wide gaps between regions that are not seen in globes. Also, a map presents a distorted view as it is flat, whereas a globe presents a less deformed view as it is round in shape. One thing you will also identify on a globe or on a map is land and water. The brown and green masses are the land and the blue represents the water. The nice thing about maps is that they can be used for a variety of things. You can use them for navigation, to establish ownership, or to present information. There are also different types of maps. Thematic maps. These maps normally focus on a particular theme or topic, so they are different. Topographic maps. These type of maps show you different physical landscape features. Climatic maps. These maps show information about the climate of an area. Economic or resource maps. These maps show you the type of economic activity or natural resources present in an area through different symbols or colors depending on what is being shown on the map. Political maps. This map shows you the state and national boundaries of a place which will include locations of cities. Physical map. This map shows you things like mountains, rivers, lakes and water which is always shown in the color blue. Road maps. This is the most commonly used map which shows you major and minor highways and roads as well as things like airports, city locations, parks, monuments, etc. So that's all the information I have for maps and globes. I hope it makes sense to you now. So, there's also another way we can find direction on a map and Coco told me this one. Yes, I remember the grid coordinates. Yes. Uh, Coco, what are grid coordinates? Okay. What's your pendulum spear? Let me explain. Just look at this. What do you see here? Blocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a regular grid? Yes. Yeah, it's then, like look at the next picture after here. Yeah. Mm. Tell me, where's the lion? Mm. Uh, it's it's in the middle mm. left. Middle yeah. centre. Where's the camel? The camel is on the, the right, right middle. The bird is on the, the left. Bottom but left. Yeah. And you see, you having trouble explaining the precise location. Mm. Yeah. But now, when you add numbers and letters vertically and horizontally, you get this. So if I ask you, where is the lion? Ah, B2. Exactly. Mm -hmm. oh. Where is the camel? C2. C2. Where is yes. the penguin? It is in A3. A3. And where is the bird? A1. A1. So this is another method that you can use that precisely shows you where all these different elements are. You got it? Oh, yes, go, go. okay. So it makes sense. All I know is just rise on the east, sits on, on the west, yeah. north. north. South, okay. Yeah. I get it. You can also find use coordinates to find places on the maps like this. Let me show you. Like what? Like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, can you see? Yes. Oh, this is slim. Now can I get a little bit of the living card? Yeah. yeah, but first you must learn how to read a map. Exactly. But if you want to use a card, what do you mean? Well, let me explain. Maps have different lines, grid, textures, and everything. So you must first learn how to read a map properly. Yeah, I see a lot of roads, places, oceans, seas, and the winding yellow lines. Uh -huh. The yellow lines are the roads. Okay. Okay. And the green patches, that's vegetation. Those are the parks and the nature reserves. Oh, okay. This is makkelijk genoeg. You're gonna date look see me. Yeah, date look, go, go. 
So Coco, when we go, when we zoom in within the map, can you see more detail? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so as you can see here, now you can see more oh. roads inside Cape Town City Centre mm -hmm. and all the different um, main roads that lead in. So you're gonna see more. The more you zoom in, is the more you can see different roads and. And, and places, you, look, you see oh, the university estate there, okay. you see the Woma estate, you see the... Uh, but if you're looking at the whole country one, all you see is the main roads. The main mm. road. Yeah. Okay. And if you go Let's look at the end, other one. You see Rhodes Memorial. One. Look at that one. You see, oh. now you see all Much these. more detail. Much yeah, more detail. This. You see the country, the different... Oh. And then okay. oh, okay. that's the this satellite the area, photo. aerial photograph. So this is a live picture. Mm -hmm. okay. So this you can basically see all your roads, all your houses. So the roads, it's an actual yeah. picture. Okay. Of, of the map, the your, dams, your Cape the Town rivers. Stadium. There's a golf course. Exactly. There's a stadium. There's the stadium. Those are the houses. Those are the roads. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the more we zoomed in, is the more we saw more, saw more detail. detail. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There's a park there. Can you see the green point? Yeah, park? the green point. Yeah. Park. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I want to solve a the mapping problem. Yeah, mm. no, but since I already know where the cardinal points are, I think we can go. Are you ready to go and do yeah. your project? Go. Yes. Are you yes. sure? Yes. Yes. Go. Let's go, guys. Mr. Nelly is ready. He's ready. Oh, Mr. Nelly, still in front of him. He plan lako. Yo, so who can your friend help with the card? And who can on the help? So first things first, I'm going to go to play Cape Town and highlight all the nice places that my friends can go to. And then, um, yeah, so we can start with that. Was good the map you can use it as a travel plan? Yes. So this is where you want us to start? Yes, please, Coco. Uh, so it will be me, Uspiwe, and now Coco that will be looking up for the nice places. And then since Uzander is good with the computer, can you please okay. search um, the directions? Okay, I'll write them out when yes. you search them. Okay. okay. So, lo muntu lo uzabe esuka from Gopi. Airport direction or Gopi? Yeah, airport. Starting airport. so far. Okay. Yeah. okay. Then, so Mina, let me just pick a place. I'll go for Robin Island as a Masi. Okay. Then Coco. The Table Mountain. Table, table Mountain. Yes. Uh, Kim's Bay. Bay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Then, so Table Mount. So far we got Table Mountain, Cam's Bay, Cam's Bay, Robin Island. Island. How about Sea Point? Sea yes. Point. Okay, let's go to the Sea Point. And then what if we try um, Table the View? Table oh, wait, Table View. view. Right. Nice. Okay. And then Boat Ride. Obviously. Let me write down the okay. boat. Uh, how about Joe Slovo Park? Park? Okay. When now look on Jana Sangat Layer, I say means Naman, you will Naman, you won't go in highlight. Do you have another color? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, let me look at this. Uh, and let's try another color. I need okay. born in Limaza Mesh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that will work. So from the airport to Sena Lotus, where will be? We'll go to Table Mountain. Okay. Then maybe you can go straight to Camp Space. So it's Table Mountain. So which right which there. direction are you going? Like so, this? No. So we go from yes, here yeah. to here. Yes. To Camps Bay. Camps Bay to Sea Point. Sea Point. Uh, sea Point to, to Robin Island. Yeah, Robin that could Island be a Bay. that could be a good idea. Okay. Um, um guys, what about the South Trophy? So oh yeah, that. Oh, canal, oh here's yeah, it. there it is. So yeah, maybe and also, you know, in that salt river, you can mm. also go and visit the factories around there. Oh. Then we can oh, go back this, to this table way. view, maybe. Table, table view. view. Yes. So here's table view. Mm -hmm. Then we will go to uh, Slovo Park. To Slovo Park, yes. Okay. Yeah, I think that's enough. For and me. then... Salt River Canal. Salt River, river canal. canal. And then his destination is back at then, um, Table Mountain. Table Mountain. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm also so done. Can you, oh, so you have the. Yeah. Okay, so we can do this. Can I? Can you quickly bring it to the side so I can write down okay. the directions oh. on the, the laptop? So I can do the directions. Okay. Okay. So first, 
Yes, guys, but we can't go from Sea Point to Robin Island and from Robin Island to Table V. We have to go back yeah. from Robin Island to yeah. and take a bus. That's a good point. To the okay. table. So oh, okay. let's do this. I'm just gonna have. So then and then make, just make another arrow back here. Just make another arrow like that. Back. And then the yeah. continue is normal. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so you got it. Maybe yes. First destination. Airport. Travel. From A. Obale from A. You? From airport. Travel from A to land. Travel. Comes B. To. Westerly. To Table Mountain. Yeah. Table. Tables Mountain. Table Mountain. Okay. Second. I'm just gonna write mountain. Hey, so your friend is gonna have a hectic trip, ne? He will. Hectic. It's refreshing. Eh? Mm. Yeah, it's nice. It's enjoyable. Mm. Here you go. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna write all the north westerly. Okay, now this is a great idea. Now your friend can just put his map and his direction and travel easily throughout Cape Town. Kort is nu nie rechtig my ding nie, maar my gadgets help me altyd. My opa sê, jy kan nooit verkeerd gaan met die kaart nie. Mm. Your opa is baie reg. You know you can lose this gadget, it can just stop working. But believe me, you'll always have your map. <laughs> okay, I'm done here. Yeah, let me do this. Guys, we learned on how to read a map. You guys can also find your own place on your map. Tell us the stories on our WhatsApp group. Don't forget our Facebook page and our email address, which is epichangout at acbc.co.za. Got from us. It's goodbye. Bye. Bye. Enjoy.